Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Uncle Larry's Garage. I am who? You there in the back, you are right. I am your Uncle Larry. Say listen, today I'm going to do something that I've done before. You know it, you love it. No, it's not Uncle Larry the Magnificent, but it's still pretty damn good. Or at least I think it's still pretty damn good. And by the God, I'm, I, I matter most, right? Uh, I'm the one I'm trying to impress here, obviously. Nah, seriously. I hope you enjoy it. It's Uncle Larry's Poetry Corner. I'm not even going to go into the subject matter. I'm just going to start reading. going to cue the music. Oh, you'll understand what it's about as soon as I start going. Here we go, folks. Get ready. Girls, grab your tissues. It's going to be a tearjerker. Here we go. Thank God this only happens just once every four years. Because the man cave refrigerator that I have just ain't going to hold all that many beers. So what is it that I'm referring to? What the hell is Uncle Larry talking about? It's that damn presidential race, my friends. And it's making both parties want to scream and shout. On one side, there's the president, the Honorable Donald J. Trump. You know, the guy who each time he opens his yap, you don't know what the hell he's going to dump. Then representing the other side, the Dems are starting to see things tighten. With their man, you know him, you love him, sleepy Grandpa Joe Biden. Last night was the first debate, and both sides should be very proud. That is, of course, if there's an award for being obnoxious and loud. So make sure that your vote is cast. Be certain America hears your voices. And imagine out of 350 million people that these are our only two choices. That scares the hell out of me right there. And I'm fearless. Still the greatest country in the world, folks. We wouldn't be here otherwise. As always, God bless America. Thanks for the truth for coming around. This is worldwide. Thanks over to the men and women in blue. Hey, if the uh, National Guard gets called in to help you guys, you know what's going to happen. Men and women, for the COVID workers, all you guys still rock. As I've said here lately, and I mean this with all my heart, you guys stay safe, stay healthy. I'm your Uncle Larry, and I'm out.